We advocate for legal redress options and reject the notion of self-help which they are presently deeply involved in. Our party denounced the deliberate mischief of expelled members, as mentioned earlier, including uh, Senator Kwankwasu, who are parading themselves illegally as leaders of our party. And they are organizing protests and inciting people against the government of Kano State, inciting people against, I mean, sorry, against uh, the, the good people of Kano State, inciting people against the democracy that we have struggled so much to enthrone. On that note, we are calling, as already contained in the protest letter, we are calling on security agencies to go after these miscreants, the likes of Ladipo Johnson, Abaka Ali, Senator Konkosu. Nobody is above the law. We are all aware of that. There's need for them to be taken in and questioned on why they've continued to incite the public against this democracy that so many of us have struggled so much, not only to enthrone, but to also stabilize. We strongly support the rule of law. We want it to take its course. The judiciary must be allowed to do its job. And so we are calling on the good people of Kano to remain steadfast and continue to believe in the ability of the judiciary to redress whatever is perceived to have gone wrong. And so any other shortcut is not acceptable to us as a party. We must wait for the Supreme Court to finish its job before any further comments are made. We condemn the threats made by expelled members that has forced the election tribunal to leave Kano. You recall Kano must be allowed to sleep with their eyes closed. They shouldn't be subjected to this level of threat that they are presently uh, faced with. They will continue to encourage them as a party that they should uh, continue to have faith in the ability of the judiciary to deliver on its assignment, which is to right whatever they think is wrong. Mm 